Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today it is time for another live game right here and my drone is randomly moving out across the map for no apparent reason. Apparently I thought it was an Overlord right there, but today I'm playing a Zerg vs Protoss vs a guy named Claudion Echo Ellie. And obviously this is going to be, like I mentioned, Legacy of the Void, so we have access to a bunch of the new units and obviously a bunch of the new upgrades um, as well. Now as far as I am aware, the latest like announced balance changes are not actually live yet, so if you're actually waiting to see those, uh, those will come out very shortly, so definitely stay tuned for them. But um, today we're just going to be playing some good old, and I say good old Legacy of the Void, but obviously it still has a whole bunch of differences compared to how to this one. Um, now, I've actually recently seen a bunch of comments on these kind of live games of people saying, Hey Loco, why do you only post wins? And that's actually something I wanted to address really quickly in this video. Honestly, I am mostly doing those videos, like the ones that I'm doing right here. I'm doing those mostly as a one take. Unless I'm like completely messing up my commentary or something like that, I will like delete it or if I'm just playing absolutely atrocious, I will also delete it. But for the most part, I actually just upload whatever I get, and it seems at least recently in Legacy of the Void, I'm getting a lot of wins. So I'm not actually, you know, handpicking only the wins to try and make myself look better. I, I'm perfectly aware that, uh, you know, it's actually fun to watch someone lose as well. I mean, you guys like watching me fail for whatever reason. No, but seriously, I, I, I don't actually focus on, uh, on only uploading wins, it's just what it is. Um, as far as Zerg vs Protoss goes though, I think I have like one of the highest win rates in the game right now. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. I think it's like over like 70, 75-ish percent. I think I do win. Uh, I do think in general though, I win quite a bunch more. Most of the games um, that I actually end up losing are because I leave them early. Um, because of lag spikes and whatnot. Sometimes that just happens in the Legacy of the Void beta. Uh, but either way, I'm actually not handpicking the, the losses or the wins, okay? I just <laughs> I just wanted to point that out real quick. Because there seems to be a little bit of confusion about that. Um, now I actually do really enjoy playing these kind of live games. And I actually got a question for you guys. Recently, I actually posted a game with Zerg vs Protoss as well, where I was playing Protoss um, instead. Oh, actually, was it Terran? I don't know, but I, I posted one of the uh, off races of me, and I basically, um, you know, was uh, was testing out some of the other units right there. I am not sure if a lot of you are very interested in that, so if you would like me to play more off races, and you want me, you know, maybe, maybe go for like half Zerg and half of the other races, let me know down below in the comment section of the video. I'm actually very curious. Maybe you want me to only call for Zerk, let me know that as well, because then I'm actually at the very least aware of what you guys would like to see. Now, so far I've not been playing perfect here. Flying in my overload a little too late. Wow! Where did that thing even go? Oh, wow. <laughs> he actually attack moved the drone right there. Well, fair enough, I'm gonna be able to go for a third base here. I'm going up for four queens, which is quite nice. Maybe you should consider attacking that thing, Zerkling. And we're gonna go for our own third base relatively early on as well. Now, I am going to be playing the same style that I've been playing for a long time right now in uh, in the Legacy of the Void beta. And it is basically me trying to tack up as fast as I possibly can. Ooh, there's a Stargate. As fast as I possibly can uh, towards um, a Hive. Hive is where it's at. Hive is where things go amazing. Hive is where you can basically start absolutely dominating Protoss players. I do want to have a quick sneak peek, see what he's building. Alright, it's an Oracle. So, we'll just make a Spore Crawler. Always worth making a Spore Crawler. Uh, but yeah, I am, um, I'm gonna try and tech up to a hive really fast and go for that Adrenal Glance. Adrenal Glance is just so, so, so good. Alright, gotta go for the double evolution chamber right here as well. Let's keep pumping out more workers. Now, obviously, I'm gonna need a Spork Crawler over at this base as well, so I will be starting it up very shortly. I'm assuming that my opponent will be flying in that Oracle towards... Um, the natural right here, so I'm actually gonna position my queens over there as well. It's not like he's gonna snipe anything in the third base. Except for maybe one worker, but if he activates the ability for that, I am, you know, I'm not actually complaining. Gonna start a plus one armor right here. And I do want to do some scouting very shortly. Oh wow, he actually does do that. Interesting. Alright, you guys, just, uh, just go over to the main then. And let's get another one going. Or another uh, sport crawler going right here. Okay, let's fly in this overload as well to try and figure out what's going on. And actually, I just figured out what's going on. He's going for a very quick third base. Which is actually alright. I'm gonna try, I'm actually gonna attempt something right here. Usually I would try and freak out here and just make a lot of units and try and get a counter on that base. But just because we are playing ladder right now anyway, or you know, we're playing, you know, just a, just a quick ladder game. It's not like a tournament match or anything like that, right? Uh, I'm gonna test something out right here. I wanna try and see if I can let him just sit back and see if I can still win. 
if he just lets me build whatever the you know whatever I want, am I still able to actually win this or is it going to be impossible? Actually, reposition you slightly. Uh, so this is mostly test. Okay, I have been having a very good win rate by uh, simply attacking right here. Uh, but let's see if we can make this one work as well. I do want to put two workers in that one as well right now. And well, we got a solid economy. It's just that my opponent is gonna have a very, very powerful economy as well. But we'll see if we uh, actually are having issues with that. It's really the third base where things get a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna go for a third Evo Chamber here too. Uh, because I think he might be going for like very heavy air units, which means that I'm gonna have to have a counter for that, obviously. Now, one counter to it is actually creep spread. Like if you can mobilize your army in order to just simply counter attack non-stop. <sighs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. RUN! It's actually kind of scary because they do bonus damage against... Um, against light units. Which is what Zerklings are and that's what I'm making right now. But, you know. Oh god. Oh! No! 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 Get him, get him, get him! Okay, there's gonna be a bunch of the guys over here as well that do do a lot of damage. But I think I got this. Alright, and let's get you back to mining. So I think he actually committed a lot more than he got out of that. Gonna start my triple upgrades, or as soon as I can, I will. And even though I'm at plus one, plus one right there, he ended up killing quite a bunch of stuff. It's kind of unfortunate, knowing that he also has the third base to back this up on, you know? So it's not like he's playing absolutely awful. Alright, don't get in the mineral line, please. Ugh. Well, it's fine. We're starting on the Hydras right now as well. And we can also put down the Adrenal Glands upgrade. Um, I'm actually losing a bunch of workers here. I lost a bunch of the Netro as well, which is not nice. He's just trying to keep me in my base right now. I think that's what he's trying to do. Uh, we do have to kill that, that pylon right there. I honestly should have found that earlier into the game. But I think we're still fine. Uh, do have everything that I would like. Let's just get the Ultralis Cavern now as well. And let's start scouting around. I don't want him taking a fort base without me being aware of it. That's the worst thing that could happen right now. If he has a fort base up and it's already up and, and mining, I'm going to be in so much trouble. So I'm going to run a Zerkling in here as well to try and figure out what is actually, you know, going on. And we're going to start building an army. And we're going to need some uh, some overseers here. Just to make sure that we have the vision. I uh, do want to make sure I get the, uh, the fort base started as well. Mostly for the gas geysers right now. And, well, I don't know exactly what he's going for. You can go over there. Let's uh, start pooping some creep over at every single possible expansion. And he's actually going for a fort base right now. This is scary. We need to make a lot of army here. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's already got carriers. Okay, well, this is exactly what I was aiming for in this game, okay? I'm not 100% sure if I can simply hold this right now. Oh my god, he's gonna be able to get a bunch of kills here. At the very least, I got a counter right there on that base. Okay, moving over towards the, the fort base right now. See if we can get a kill on that. Um, it is gonna finish up shortly. I don't know if they actually got here with a warp prism or if they didn't. Either way, we're gonna have to start up more upgrades here. You can see though, I am not banking on like a massive army here at all. I am basically just sitting back for as much as possible here. Looks like he's attempting to actually expand towards the other base right now. I'm gonna start up plus three. And I do want to start up um, a bunch of Zerklings here as well. My Zerklings are gonna be extremely powerful here. But I've, <laughs> I've really been focusing on getting a massive economy lead and like a, a massive upgrade lead, but not so much an actual army. So this could be a little bit scary. Okay, I can start mixing in a couple of Ultras as well, once I find the time to, but we want to be at least attacking a little bit over here. Army is mainly containing Hydralisk right now, which I think is not good enough here. We're gonna need a couple of Vipers. This is why we got that fort base, we really need the extra gas going. Okay. Just uh, transfuse it as well while we're here. Looks like he's actually attempted to get another base over there in the corner as well, so I'm just gonna expand over here. Just to get that extra gas. And ooh, I was gonna get a bunch of my. Uh, I was gonna get a bunch of. Um, ooh, ooh, this is scary. This is scary right here. I was gonna get a bunch of. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. 
Vipers. Oh god. Turns out it is actually those things. Now, Zerglings are actually relatively powerful now, now that they have um, some sick upgrades. Although I actually may have a little bit too little there. Okay. Um, let's just actually make sure that we get some mining going on here once again. We've got more Vipers incoming here. So I think we should be okay. I can see the thing right there though. Let's see if I can abduct it. Let's see if I can abduct it. Get my Hydras over. Hydras, where are you? Oh no! Oh come on! Are you for real here? <laughs> Didn't think you would be able to get out of there. Alright, well there we go. We got the kill on it either way. Adding on more and more units right now. Gonna need a couple of Evo Chambers so we can get some extra energy going. And I'm gonna get the gases going at this new base as well. So I'm playing super heavy macro right Oh god, oh god. Oh no, 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 we got some harassment right now. Sadly, we can't target fire these things anymore, which is really, really unfortunate. Like, we would be able to target fire them down with, um, with, with vipers, but it's not possible anymore. Now, these are costing him money, but you can see the amount of damage that it does is pretty insane. Okay, well, let's see what we can do, I suppose. We have to start moving up here. See where his army is actually located. And actually a bunch of these guys are once again moving in over here. I think I may have... Um, I may have actually been better off if I would have attacked when uh, when he was playing so aggressively. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go counter attacks. We're not gonna face him head on. Unless he wants to face me out of position. Unless he wants to face me out of position, we're not gonna face him head on. I do need to make sure I get some workers going though. Because I don't have that many at the moment. So it looks like we're gonna get a bunch of free army over here, which is very nice for us. Okay, here we go. Um, gonna start up plus three attack as well. And, well, I think he's gonna move his army over here, but we can't abduct. Okay. This is a little bit too much though, I'm afraid. Oh my god, Protoss air is scary. There are ways to beat this, but I would have... Like, I would have been forced to play more aggressively earlier on. I think if I would have gone for the aggression at his third base, I would have been better off. Once he got that third base up and going, and, you know, was basically completely uncontested all the way through, I was in a lot of trouble. I think I should have done a little bit more aggressive. But that's obviously a lesson learned, right? Like, that's something you learn over time, and it's not something that happens automatically. Like, I would have, like, I would have uh, normally in the past, I would have gone uh, right there for, um, what's it called? The, um, the quick casting, like the, the rapid fire casting um, on my Vipers to make sure that I could kill those interceptors, but it seems to be pretty much impossible to do that right now, and I, uh, I'm pretty sure that just removed that ability altogether. Because it used to be a thing, but... Well, at the very least I can kill all of his ground army, but... Yeah, it's just a bit too much now. <laughs> he absolutely dominates me once he gets this much air. Alright, alright, so lesson learned the hard way, guys. You do want to make sure that you don't allow the Protoss player to get up to this many bases. I should have, at the very least, like made a big round of Zerklings. Maybe when Zerkling speed finished or something like that, to make sure that I could actually counter um, that third base. Just to make sure that I am at least like putting some competition onto it. Because if I'm not attacking him, he can just build whatever army he likes. And carriers take a very long time to get out, but obviously once he has this many, the only way I could really win this is by basically counter-attacking. I mean, I don't think I could ever face that army head-on. I am pretty sure that's gonna be impossible. And since carriers are relatively fast, it makes it very, very difficult. Yeah, so those things are actually barely doing any damage. It's just that when, um, when he maxes out on this, I don't think I can actually stop it. I don't think I can actually stop it. Now, I know that sometimes I post these kind of losses, right? And people in the comment section get very upset at Protoss for being able to do this. I want to urge you guys to realize that this was a perfect test scenario right here for me to try this out. And see if I could be completely uncontested. A lot of people always start complaining right here about how powerful Protoss is and 
like how incredibly hard it is to kill them. Honestly not true, honestly not true. You just need to make sure that you put pressure onto them, uh, because if you let them marker like this, it is very difficult to get anything done right here. So yeah, please, like if you're gonna talk balance problems in the chat, just revert them to this point in the video. Now, we'll see. If he's going home, we may actually have a chance of picking off a couple of bases here, but I still don't know how I'm gonna kill that army, which is my main concern. Even with this much storm, like, even with this much, I don't think I can do anything. He's just got a bigger economy. He will have the top right corner of the map by now as well. Or at least I'm assuming he will. Let's have a quick look. I'm gonna try and move my army out of there, but... Don't think I will be able to. I don't know if he has that base though. Maybe he doesn't, at which point we're still okay-ish. No, he is, he's just starting it up. He's just starting it up, so it's not awful actually. Well, actually it is kind of bad because he does have a very big army. I do think uh, the Ultralisk are a great choice though. I, I'm also fully aware right now that his army is located somewhere on the left side of the map. I think he may be attempting a run by into my natural. Which would give me the opportunity to try and counter exactly what's happening here, but the problem here is that I don't have very much economy anymore. I lost most of that with the aggression that he was doing. So he's still gonna use Storm here. And it is not very efficient, not very effective at all. But it's the air army that I'm concerned about. The ground army I can kill. Ground armies is, is very straightforward. But it's these units as well that I can't do very much about. Oh my god, he has so many of them. No, 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 he has way too many right now. So, talking about posting losses, here you go. This is a perfect, this is a good loss, okay? Some people, okay, I actually, while we're here anyway, right? This is, this is pretty much a guaranteed loss at this point. I mean, I don't know what I could do. Um, some people get upset from their losses, right? I feel like these kind of losses that I had right here are perfect for improving. If you are trying to improve in StarCraft 2, you gotta, you gotta take the game as it is. The game is gonna make you lose half of your games. It is gonna try and attempt for you to lose most of your games, or at least like half of them, you know? Like, that's just how the matchmaking works. So, while you're at it, just try and figure out the reasons why you lost. And don't complain about balance. Like, the only way you're gonna improve is by accepting the fact that you're not perfect, and following it up with... Well, that's a DT. Following it up with... Uh, you know, improvements that way. But I'm gonna have to GG out of this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, hit the like button down below. And if you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button as well. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I will see you in the next one.